Hads, we're going to draw the cutest little animal on the planet, aren't we? Yeah. Tell our art friends what we're going to draw. We're going to draw a red panda. All right, little girl, you got your marker? Yeah. Boop. I like your pink bow. <laughs> we hope you guys are going to follow along with us. You got a marker. We're also going to use plain white paper, right? Yeah. From our printer. It's eight and a half by 11. And we have two sheets of paper because we're using a marker. We don't want it to go through to the table, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you ready to start? Yeah. Drawing this cute little animal? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, first step. We're going to draw a big upside down U. It's kind of a rainbow line, too. Wobbly. Oh, don't. Don't tell me it's wobbly. <laughs> That's okay, I'll fix it. Thanks for telling me it's wobbly. I can practice, huh? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right, your turn. I want to see if you can do it without wobbles. Yes, good job. Good, heads. All right, okay, now we're going to do his little cheek hairs, fuzz. We're going to do three little zigzags on the side at the bottom of our... Rainbow line, okay? I love drawing with you. Oh, your red panda is going to be cute. Okay, you ready to draw the bottom? Yeah. Okay, we're going to draw a U shape or a curved line to connect the bottom. It's kind of a curved U. Good. Okay, now let's draw his ears. So we're going to draw upside down V. And I curved each of the the lines too. It's not straight like that. See how it's curved? Mm -hmm. Almost like a leaf shape. Good. And then back down. Good, heads. Okay. Now we're going to draw it on the other side. Like that. Kind of look like foxes, don't they? Mm -hmm. I like how tall your ears are. It's perfect. Okay, now let's draw another one inside on both sides. Good. And draw one on the other side. Perfect. Good job, little girl. All right, next step. Let's do his eyes. Okay? So we're going to do two little circles. And I'm going to put them close together towards the bottom of his head. You see that? <laughs> Perfect. You can draw that one a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to put a little circle inside and then color in like we always do, huh? Yes. Yes. Oh, you even did it bigger. Good job. <laughs> Good. You could color the whole thing in. There you go. Good job. And then your eyes will be a little bigger than mine, and I think that's perfect. It's okay if ours look different, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. You did it. Okay, now let's do his little nose, and we'll do a little circle right here, and color it in. Okay, now let's do, he's got a funny little pattern on his face, huh? Yeah. So he's got, uh, he's a red uh, fur, but he's got these white patches on his face, right? So yeah. he's got a white nose, and so we'll do a uh, U-shape here, that goes over his nose and under his eyes. Good. And then we're going to do his, the white on his cheek. So we're going to do a line that curves like that. Good. And let's do that on both sides because it's symmetrical. Good. Then we're going to do a line that connects the two ends together like that. I kind of messed down at the bottom. So it's almost it's like, a, it's a, like a, yeah, a moon or a backwards D. And we'll do one on this side too. Can you do that? Yeah. Let's see you. Yes. Good. Oh, good job. That's awesome. All right, let's do his little eyebrows, okay? So we're going to just do a little line, curved lines on both sides. Almost like I. Uh, they kind of look like eyebrows, huh? But they're just white patches. And we'll do... He looks like a boy. <laughs> it looks like a boy? Yeah. No. Oh, you. well, you could turn yours into a little girl. How would you do that? Of course. 
Got to add those eyelashes. All right, let's do the rest of his body, okay? Okay. All right. We're going to do his legs, his front legs. And so we're going to draw a line that comes down like this. Good. And then we're going to draw another line that comes down and then comes in to that line that we just drew. So start. Oh, yeah. You can do it right there on that side. That works. And then curl it in to that line. Good job, Hads. Okay, then we're going to do another line that comes down and then connects, kind of connects at the bottom down here. You could get close. You don't have to touch. There you go. Good. And then we're going to draw another line that comes around for the other side of his leg and then in. <laughs> his legs. His but legs? No body. What? It looks like his legs, but no body. Yeah, we're going to draw the body in a sec. So you can come over here and then draw a line that comes down here like this and then curves in. Totally, he doesn't have a body yet, huh? We need to draw it. So let's draw, we could draw little fingernails down here at the bottom like this. Little ovals. He's got, he has claws, huh? Like a bear. Okay, now let's do his bottom, his back feet. And we're going to do them almost like we did the teddy bear. Do you remember the teddy bear? He's sitting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to draw a C shape. Yes, good job. And then we're going to do a C shape on this side too. Like that. He's looking cute, huh? Yeah. Or she's looking cute, I should say. <laughs> Okay, then let's do an oval on both sides. This is for the bottom of his feet. Yes. And then we're going to do little ovals for his toes. I'll do three. Like that. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> okay, you ready for his body? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we're going to do uh, just a curved line that comes down from his head and into his feet on that side. Go ahead. And then we'll do the next one. Oh, it looks cute, Ads. Okay, and then we'll do another one on this side. <laughs> Good. And then we could do a little zigzag line here for his fur on his belly because we're going to do a uh, red and then a dark brown on on his belly good job okay now should we do his tail yeah all right we're gonna draw a line that comes up like this almost past his ears a little past his ears good job all right hads then we're gonna come back down here and we're gonna draw the other part of this tail and it's going to come out and get thick, thicker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wobbly? Yeah. <laughs> then we're going to do, we're going to come back in and finish his tail in like this. That's a big tail. Yeah, it's super big. They have really long tails, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to come down here, right? And we're yeah. going to start down here and we'll come out over here and then into his tail. And you kind of want to make it so that his tail is thick. Yeah. Yes. Good job. You did it. Good. Now he's got stripes, right? Yeah. So we're going to do one line right here because the top of his tail is going to be a dark brown. Good. And then we're going to have white stripes here. So we do two lines together and we can curve them. Good. And then let's do two more stripes together. Good, and then we'll do one more stripe. Two curved lines together. Awesome, Hads, you did it. He looks really cool. I mean, she. She looks really cool mm -hmm. and cute. <laughs> did you have fun? Yeah. We should color them, shouldn't we? Yeah. All right, let's get our colors all picked out. We have a white, a black, a brown, and then we also have this darker brown, which has some red in it, that we're going to use for his belly. 
And this one's called Dark Carmine. But if our art friends don't have this one, they could just use a darker brown. Okay? Okay. Cool? Yeah. All right. Let's get our, our regular brown. And we're going to color in his head first. And actually, we're going to color a bunch of his body. And we'll fast forward through the whole thing. And we want to make sure that we don't color his cheeks, his eyebrows, or his nose. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's do it right okay. now. Now, Hads, I forgot, some of our art friends might not know what we're using. A lot of them probably do know what we're using, but what are these called? Oil pastels. Yes, oil pastels. They're really cool. I like them more than, than crayons because we can blend with them. And they go down really bright and smooth, and they fill in everything very, like, solid. Nice and solid. Yeah? Yeah. You like using them? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we love them. They're our favorite thing to color with. Um, and we'll leave a link in the bottom of the video in the description uh, below the video, sorry, where they can, where our art friends can buy them on Amazon. Cool? Me and Austin have our own oil pastel. Yes, you do. You like them so much, huh? Yeah. Now we're doing the telnecks, right? Yeah. And some of the red pandas we've seen on the internet have white stripes on their tails, and some of them have dark stripes on their tails. We're going to do white stripes. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Good. Hads, I went back over my red panda with a red on top of the brown, and it looks a little more red. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get our dark brown, and we're going to color in the dark parts of his body, which are going to be his legs his feet, and also his belly. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and color that in. We're gonna make it darker by adding another layer on top of it with black. So let's go ahead and we'll do the whole thing. We'll do all the parts with this dark brown and then we'll make it darker later, okay? Okay. Now we're gonna make it a little bit darker um, by using black. We're gonna layer it, okay? So on top of his ears, let's start with his ears first. We're gonna do a little black right against his head, and then we're gonna get lighter as it gets to the top. You see that? Yeah. So we'll start dark, and then as it gets to the top, we'll gradually get lighter. Good, that's perfect. Good, hats. Kate. Okay, now we're gonna get that, uh, whoop, we're gonna get the dark brown again and then blend it in his ears, okay? So it looks nice and smooth. Okay, next up, we're gonna take the black and we're gonna do in between his legs and we can do this kind of dark so that his legs, it, it looks like it's just a big brown mess in there, huh? Yeah. So we're gonna separate his legs by, by putting in a dark strip right there in between and then we'll also do it on the side over here and then we can blend that back with the, with the uh, dark brown. Okay, heads, we're going to get our white and we're going to go over those little pads that we put on his feet so you can see him again. Because we colored over the whole thing, huh? Yeah. So this will brighten it up and he'll look like he's got feet again. Huh? Yeah. Is that cute? Yeah. And we could also do this where his toenails were on his front feet. All right, heads, now we're going to blend in the stripes on his tail. So we can just go over with our white uh, oil pastel and blend in the part where the, the uh, Sharpie was. Do you see that? Yeah. So it kind of makes the brown blend together with the white. Looks really cool. Okay, now we're going to blend in his ears up here at the top. So we're going to do the same thing that we did on the tail. Just do a little white line over and over the sharpie so that sharpie line that we drew on there just do a little white pastel over that that look cool it softens that edge kind of blends it in all right now we're going to do this on his cheeks and we're just going to do little ones all right just a little line that goes around and blends in his little cheeks 
And we can do the same thing with his nose. And then also his eyebrows. I like how it hides the Sharpie, huh? Because we have those big black marks in there. Hey, heads, you can actually put, you could put a little white dot with your oil pastel on his eyes. You know how you colored them in all the way? Mm -hmm. So you could do that little white dot right on his eyes. Yes. Looks so cute. Are you having fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna do one last thing. We're gonna get our black oil pastel and we're gonna do, we're gonna darken in the very end of his tail, just like this. And then we're gonna also, and then we'll get the dark brown again and then blend in the black to the, to the brown. Hads, your red panda turned out really cute. Did you have fun drawing her? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. Give me a super big five. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your red pandas with us. Remember, if we go too fast, what can they do? Pause the video. Yes, you can always pause the video. And also remember to practice, right? Yeah. And if you guys practice, the second time, it'll always be better than the first time, right? Yeah. Yes, but what's the most important thing? Having fun. Yes, yeah, so having fun. Give me five. Another five. Give me another five. Boom. And another five. Boom. And another five. Boom! We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> um. <laughs>